Chad Brendel, Bearcat Journal here with uh, Ethan Tucky. Ethan, um, long year last year. Uh, take yeah. us through what that was like sitting out and uh, not really being able to, to contribute, but working on your game. Oh, it was definitely difficult. I mean, like, not being able to play, like, that knowing, like, you can't be in the game on Saturday is difficult, but, like, every day is the same mindset, though. Like, I can, on the scout team, I can give the best look possible. I'm a good scout team guy, so we can make that guy in front of me better. And so this day by day, just keep doing that every day throughout the whole season. So, I mean, it wasn't honestly, like, that hard because I was working every day, but Saturday was frustrating because, like, I want to be out there. I know I could do it, but rules are rules, so. What was, uh, take us through the, the decision to come to Cincinnati and, and, and what went into that and, and what brought you here? Uh, it was just I needed to kind of change a culture, I'd say. I said I really enjoyed what I had here. I mean, I was looking at, I mean, it was like Kentucky and here. And I'll be honest, here is just, here really felt like they were shaping a man. Like, you're also an athlete, but the core values when it's like respecting women, don't do drugs, don't drink, like, be honest. And those are your four key values. That's what I'm going to be a part of. And I know every guy around me is going to do that same thing. Like, the coach is going to be preaching that. That's what's like, why would you not want to be a part of that if I'm trying to be a better guy on and off the field? One thing, uh, when people think of defensive linemen, they don't think sprinter. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's a little, I'm doing what I can to like, change that mindset for it. <laughs> I played linebacker at BC, I'm playing jack now to stand up in, but I got the weight on, I got the hype for it. So, I mean, it's helped the get off too. I mean, like, out of the blocks, you're moving. I see my coach, uh, Coach Patrick, he's my sprinter coach in high school. He did one hell of a job with like, getting me going. So, I definitely owe some of my success right now to him. Can you go sub 11 right now? Or you, you... Uh, I don't know about that right now. I'll say a few more pounds. But... <laughs> Uh, you never know, though. Um, eight practices, you've kind of had a steady climb mm -hmm. um, and, and got some looks with the one today. Does it feel like there's some reward to that work that's starting to pay off a little bit? Oh, yeah. But I said, it feels good. Like, I mean, Kevin's a little dinged up right now, but um, uh, I'm just next guy up. I said, I'm, I'm happy to be doing it, but I said, I have confidence that I can do it. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it well. And so, I mean, I'm not, not say surprised, but like, I'm just doing my job and I'm just stepping up. So, is that something like it clicks in your brain? Like, all right, today I get the chance to go out there with well, the ones I mean, it feels and show. Good. I'll be honest, like, every day is the same mindset. But yeah. I say one, two, three don't matter for me, but like, it does feel, I mean, I'm going to lie, it feels good. You're the ones, you're the one group, but like, Every day the same mindset, also. They uh, they put a lot of emphasis on special teams here because of your athleticism. Mm -hmm. Is that a, a, another place where you feel like you might be able to step in and, and make an oh, impact? Oh yeah, but early? So, like speed and size wise, like I can do that. I would be shield, run down the field, get down there fast. So I said I got a good hybrid mix, and so I mean anywhere I can help out, I'm gonna do it. So wherever they want to put me, I'll do my best at it. Tell us about Coach Stripling. What's it like working with him he's so far? A, he's an amazing guy. He's one of the smartest coaches I've ever met. Like his technique and everything is just like. It's, it honestly, it's mind blowing. At first, I was a little, I was, I was a little hesitant. I was like, like, cause I've never really done some of his techniques before. But it is night and day different. Like, this guy knows what he's doing. Like, there's a reason that he's like has exactly as he does and been the position he's been in. Like hand placement, footwork, every minute detail can get better. Like, there's no doing. Like, even if you do it well, you can do it better. And he'll find out, help you coach you through that. So I mean, it's I would not want any other D line coach. All right, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Good I stuff. Have to push Thank out you. the D line as well, cause I have to do that. So. <laughs>